14. Working the body. Oh, and then just driving straight through as yeah. Martin uh, pounced on a little bit of hesitancy there from Prosper. Yeah, good old southpaw basics, really. Nothing fancy, nothing flashy. That's how he win rounds, you know. Yeah. He, he's, we've seen him do this over and over again. Just a little bit of quality sprinkled through a round is enough to make the judges think, oh, yeah, he did the better work. He's a very clever fighter. Yeah, he's very, very intelligent. Yeah. On every occasion that you see him, you know, there he, he goes uh, again. He does things that are very efficient and they work. <laughs> you know, they work. So. And, yeah, I remember that fight with Joe Hughes. And like you said earlier, we, we both love Joe Hughes. I think everybody in British boxing loves Joe Hughes. But what Joe is, is what you see is what you get. Martin yep. looked at him, worked him out, and, and had no trouble with him at all. No. Yeah. Once he realized that, you know, he, that, that Joe was working predominantly off the left hook, the, you know, he just changed up his movement patterns and you know he really he comprehensively outboxed yeah, Joe totally. Hughes which is not something that you can really say um, you've seen before you know Joe Hughes is he finds a way to make life very difficult make, for anyone he can make life with. hot for you but he didn't make anything hot for this fella and I tell you what Kay Prosper's not making anything hot for him here in this second round either <laughs> Staying in Southpaw at the start of round three, then Sandor Martin is dealing with a Southpaw opponent instead of an orthodox tonight. But can K Prosper be effective out of that Southpaw stance? He just looks hesitant, like uncertain, not quite sure what he's trying to do now. And Xavier Miller, you heard him there in, 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 the, in the corner, said so you switched off in that round, but I think he just caught himself in two minds too often. Bearing in mind yeah. that he is just stepping up levels here, Martin. He won't be. He hasn't been in with an opponent of this technical ability. Oh, he's Hello. Hurt. Yeah. Hello. In the southpaw stance, he yeah. walked into a right hook there, yeah. Nick. You know, what? Right into that right hook. Well, shaken up. And will Martin go for the finish here? It's a body shot as Prosper looks to just dig in. Yeah. Nice left Fighting up and back. And, and have you noticed he switched straight he back to orthodox? Back, yeah. But, uh, the southpaw stance is, just isn't doing him any favours at all. He yeah. backed away there but nicely. So uh, his jab has landed. Oh, first that time right in the southpaw landed. stance. Yep. Got the backhand in there. But it's a very weak jab. It's not the kind of jab that'll dishearten an opponent or, you know, force something to think twice. But it's round six now, Nick, and I would like to see Martin a little bit busier. I'd like, I'd like to see him you know, at where he is now, Mark, uh, Prosper, out of the orthodox stance. That's where he landed that right hand. Yeah. You know, you're so right. He, he can't do anything with the lead hand at all out of Southpaw. I mean, it's only round eight, Nick. You know, we might still see that. You know, he's maybe wanted to get a few rounds under the belt, you know, and... Uh, sh shake off any ring rust that, that might have been there. When was his last bout? No punch. Oh. Stop. No punch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> December. December, yeah. Yeah, that's a, yeah that little tune-up against uh, oh, yeah. Nestor Maradiaga. Yeah. Oh, Prosper really deciding to go for it here. He's got yeah. Martin on the ropes. Let's see if he can keep him there. And this is well, better. Why not? Why not? You know, no, good to Martin see can nod his head all he wants. You know, it's... Uh, He's the one that's allowing Prosper to, to get into this, if he does, you know. Like you said, you're going to be a world-class world class fighter and looked upon as a world-class fighter that possibly could be challenging for for world titles. You know, you have, to, you have to give them something to think about, the world champions. You know, you've got to think about how they're thinking as well, Nick. You know, do you honestly think Josh Taylor's sitting here watching this thinking, I hope I don't come up against Sandor Martin, you know? Yeah, You know, exactly. he's, a, he's a scary individual, this guy. You know, he's... Uh, I tell you, Prosper has really changed the narrative in this eighth round. He's, he's coming forward, taking chances. And what did you say ages ago? Oh, he's taking a what? point, man. Wow. What? what on earth is that referee? Did, did, what did I miss, Alex? Wow. What did I miss? That's harsh, man. That's ludicrous. That's it, beautiful. 
Oh, caught him again. He just committed. And this is now we're starting to see what Sandor Martin is capable of. Got to be careful here. But he's in a really tricky place here, isn't he? Just carried it by his own momentum into the ropes there. I thought the referee was going to yeah, give a count for a moment there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you touched down. I'll give you standing eight. No, that would have been ridiculous. There's so many aspects to, you know, to boxing against a good south ponic. You know, it's... Uh, Oh, come on. <laughs> it was on the waistband. That's ridiculous. Sorry. No more. No more. Yeah, we'll have no more of you if you don't mind. It was on the waistband. Yeah, that, that wasn't even low. Yeah. Martin didn't even complain that key. Uh... Yeah, that was on the belly button, that one. Good body shot. Good body shot. Good body shot. Get your hands back. Can't get his hands back. Corner. He's oh, really? Oh, that's just, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, this is a joke. Really, really tough out, night's work. I've got to be honest, it's played out exactly the way you thought it probably would. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I think there's, and there's positives to come out oh, of this. Oh, no, there is. Uh, but I did think that Mar Martin would have been a little bit more clinical. I thought his shot selection would have been a little bit better, Nick. I uh, honestly did. I thought his shot selection would have been a little bit better tonight. Um, He's not exactly been on the ball in terms of sharp shots as well. You know, he's been a wee bit out of range and it's not the best performance, but listen, that's what we expected, isn't it? Really? Exactly, exactly. He measured up K Prosper, realised what he needed to do and just went out and did it. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing here in Barcelona, Spain, we go to the judges' scorecards. Pablo Gonzalez, 119, 107. Ventislav Nikolov, 117 to 109. And Mark Lyson scored the contest, 117 to 110. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And still, the European super lightweight champion, Sandor. Ara Sandor Martin. Well, that was no surprise, was it? Sandor Martin comfortably won that. Yeah.